Hello guys, this is Anishuja with another rig sale and this is my village rig I'm going to be putting for sale and yeah, let's get started. So first of all the installation um, You'll download these two folders one has textures and one is the main rig uh, Then we go into uh, Finder search for Cinema 4D R13 which is the version I have go to library browser and just grab these two textures in uh, to LIB40 folders inside and you say you don't want to download the textures you would uh, you can just load them in through the rig by Going first we need to go find our minecraft folder so to do that we need to go to home in Windows it should be app data and that stuff. I don't know how to use Windows. So yeah, so home library application support minecraft and then bin then you want to right click here compress double click this and you should get a minecraft folder so yeah you get a minecraft folder and then you just delete that because i already have one here and then you want to click here arrange by kind and then you should have all the folders here go to mob villager and you should have the textures right here the witch you want to um the witch you want to crop it halfway so that the hat you just crop out this bit and then you just load the text in um, copy it using Photoshop or whatever image editor you have and yeah so to load the skin just uh, click on this red thing and click here and just find it yeah find the Minecraft folder which is I have a small yeah and then find it and yeah load it in okay the next thing I'll just show you the C motion so you have an understanding of how the rig works. Oh, kind of slow. Oh yeah, I'm gonna be getting my new computer probably this month, and uh, everything will be so much better. I'll probably be up, uh, up. I'll be able to upload my time lapses again, and yeah, it'll be really cool to have <laughs> a new computer. Ignore those black things; they don't appear in the render. So don't worry about that. So that's the walk and then the run. I made a cartoonish run because I find the villagers pretty funny and stuff. You can always increase the speed and distance over here. Oh, not that. <laughs> Going super speed. And yeah, pretty cool. The next thing is I want to talk about is the customization. So if we can go into that uh, folder we just installed uh, which is right here actually uh, you uninstall the texture folder once you enter the texture folder you shouldn't have this one uh, this is just mine uh, so you should go into the skins in the texture folder and you should be in, and then you can just drag it in textures like so that's basically it for the village <laughs> and then for the witch you have the hat and the thing oh um, what you want to do if the texture is like that, you just enable that, double click here, and double select these two textures, and just double click on that, and you should reload the textures, and then it looks pretty cool. <laughs> it looks normal. Uh, don't worry, in the render it's always the same. So, and then we have IQ Dynamics on that, and we have what right there. <laughs> Okay, the next thing is the body, so let's get to the legs first. There are f it has feet, as you can see, it adapts to the ground, and oh, the, don't worry about those black stuff, like I said before. Uh, so you can yeah, rotate that for the feet, and yeah, and then we have the body. This, this one, this inner square, you can rotate it so that the it rotates like that. This this um, rotator thing is the one of the best ideas I've come up with. It really saves a lot of time, and it just it, I couldn't believe how much time I've saved using that thing. So yeah, it's a really nice thing to have. So now we have the main body now. I, I like to call it main body now for some reason. And yeah, now we have the arms. Uh, ignore the black stuff again, they don't appear in the render. Uh, so yeah, we have the 
uh, fingers. Uh, like so. Oh, <laughs> wrong finger. Oh, <laughs> yeah. uh, wait. Yeah, that's the wrong thing anyway. That's good. Uh, okay, and we can do that. Oh, uh, so we have sleeves as well. So, say, can I open it up? Close it up. Like, say, you just want to keep him from like, just showing his fingers and stuff. Ah, whatever. Depends on how you want to animate. Then close it up. And say, you just want to move it with the body. Just select them both, select the body, and just move it around with it. Or you can always parent it by going into other. Uh, make sure you enable it under the layers. Layers, enable, and then go under here and goals and poles. Select the two arm. Uh, select these two and grab it under the control like so. So substitute whatever. It's all very messed up. So because yeah, whatever. Uh, th that's for the C motion. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, in the C motion, if I just show you real quick, you can you can move. Oh, <laughs> you can move it like so. Oh, that looks pretty cool. <laughs> He's skipping along. Yeah, so you can still move it keyframe. You can have like a small limp. Oh, he trips on something and just keyframe it if you like, like that. And we have the head. And yeah, let's get to the facial features. Um, so click on this red thing, move it up to get the this thing. Uh, the reason why I'm now using this and not user data is because you can you can add this to the um, animation port. Oh, manager animation. What do you call it? Uh, timeline. Yeah, timeline. You can add it to timeline. You can add splines and stuff. It's just a lot less messy and. Yeah, I, I really prefer using this now. You should get used to it. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, let's get through the features. First, mouth. Mouth has improved. Uh, now it uses more the jaw and the entire, oh, uh, like just the lips, I guess. I don't know. Uh, it's just a small improvement, but it is a big difference. It's It looks a lot better, and you can make lip sync a lot easier now can move them out up and down, left and right, everything. Oh yeah, and also the teeth. Now you can see it stays along with the mouth, uh, <laughs> the jaw, I guess. And then you can move them both like so, and then you can select them both. And then, yeah, or oh, whatever. And then we can make him smile, everything. And say you don't want to see the mount controllers and you're just going to use this, you can always do that as well. Oh, and you can always uh, say you want to adjust something, you can always use that. And yeah, and this thing. Uh, yeah, and then we have the nose, just you can just use the <laughs> main thing. Um, and then we have the eyes, you can use that, or you can use this like so and can we have this new feature uh, actually not so new but I'm gonna be adding it um, and scaling the eyes you can now rotate them individually because I saw in slammer cows one of he had it like that one time when he was looking to the left and use move the eyes individually as well and yeah, uh, and then we have the manual controls here as well, and now we have the eyebrows. I didn't have add controls for the eyebrows because it's just you don't need one. I uh, just you can just move it like that. Uh, we can do it like that. It's all smooth, all nice. And say you want to make him angry, just move that down. If you want to make him sad, move that up. Plus. Uh, just rotate, oh, like that, and he's sad. Uh, then we can select this main thing, this blue strips, strip, and move it around, rotate it, and everything, really. Uh, so, yeah, and yeah, so the eyebrows are pretty cool. Okay, um, you can say you have the arm out of position, and you want it to 
don't worry about that white stuff. Uh, you want it to go back to zero. Just uh, go back to its or default position. Just you can by just zeroing out the position. Simple. <laughs> Okay, that's about it for my rig. Um, I'll be uploading a time lapse of me making the rig. It took around 20 hours to make. I, know I ran into a lot of problems making this rig, so I cut off the end because it just it was really messed up. So um, I didn't want to upload unnecess unnecessary bits. So yeah, uh, unlike uh, it's as complex as a template rig, um, because but. It took less time because I already knew what I was doing and yeah the template drink is like I just improvised I don't know I could I went along just didn't know what I was doing and then I just figured it out on on the way uh, yeah so make sure to check out my time lapse I'm gonna be making a new website soon and uh, my well someone else is gonna be making a website for me and uh, yeah, I'll be paying paid directly, so that won't be a 50% tax, which is enormous, so I'm really happy about that. And I realized that the people, some people have pirated my rig, and that's, and I calculated it to about 1,200 downloads, which is equivalent to 40,000, 40, 30,000 uh, dollars. Which is a lot of money, uh, which is very disappointing as I earn not even close to that amount, uh, like a very small fraction of that amount, which is very upsetting that some people have just pirated it and it really didn't help me out. Uh, so, uh, very upsetting, yeah. <laughs> well, thanks for listening. <laughs> to this last bit of the video and yeah download the rig and bye